nutritionists have been testing new emerging ingredients for aquafeeds and as an alternative for traditional marine and plant meals and oils in a quest for more sustainability and circularity in the use of resources. Ingredients such as fish protein hydrolysates, processed animal proteins, yeast meals, insect meals, emerging vegetable meals and protein concentrates, microalgae, macroalgae, fish oil from trimmings, single cell oil, plant oils, for example, linseed, rapeseed, sunflower seed, and camelina, poultry fat, insect oil, and DHA-rich algal products are all suitable alternatives to ingredients used in conventional formulations. However, these ingredients have mostly been tested by researchers on a one-by-one -one basis. Moreover, most of them have limitations for their inclusion level due to nutritional or technical constraints, and thereby alternative formulations tend to be more complex, involving more ingredients than conventional ones. Gain fish trials aim to evaluate emerging ingredients, which are already commercially available using different formulation concepts. The gain ingredient basket is based on circularity principles, maximizing resource efficiency while contributing towards zero waste in the agri-food value chain, and looking for feed cost effectiveness. It also takes into account social acceptance to optimize sustainability within the current and predictable regulatory framework. The diets for four target species, salmon, turbot, sea bream, and trout, were formulated with adjustments for each species based on known nutritional requirements and tolerance to ingredients. While welfare indicators, feed intake, gut health, and immunity for all species were unaffected by the different diets, there were some interesting differences in the outcomes between the species. Salmon performed well with all diets tested, both in terms of growth and feed conversion, but alternative formulation had a slightly worse feed conversion. The different diets had no effect on the presence of sea lice or gut health. In contrast, gilthead sea bream fed with commercial diet and alternative diets without fish and livestock byproducts had a better FCR and improved in bioavailability of certain nutrients. The results also suggested that these diets may lower the fish's inflammation response, although the nutritionists are planning more trials to confirm this. There was no difference in digestibility of protein or phosphorus, which are both critical for sustaining growth of the animal. For turbot and trout, the different diets did not affect growth rate or FCR. Turbot fed on the alternative diets did have a higher condition factor than those fed on the conventional diet. Moreover, the consumer panel could not distinguish taste, odor, appearance, or texture in the trout and turbot fed with the different diets. Overall, this output of the GAIN project showed that these novel formulations based on sustainability and circular economy principles are viable options for these four fish species. This team is now examining the cost-effectiveness of these alternative diets and eventual positive or negative effects on fish health. Sparush. Tailoring your feeds, tailoring your needs.